Back. Hey guys, Tyrup here, bringing you Warcraft Wednesday once again. We are on Twisted Meadows. Playing for today's pointing in the south. We have WFC playing as Undead. And for a Death Knight, a bit of a ghoul build here, nice to see. Myself against him. We have Moon. And there's Night Elf getting a bit of AOW creeping underway. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the uh, overlay working correctly for the second player from Moon, so I can be able to see his resources on that, unfortunately. Not sure why that happened. Keep okay, up the grove though for Moon. And uh, getting some harass onto that ghoul. Ghoul did, you know, interrupt a little bit of repairs from the wisps. And no, oh, steals away the forest troll shadow priest here. Okay. Now trying to get out of there. Maybe not going to dispel the first treant. No. And go quite passively with that at the moment. A player's forces are the under attack. coming in. And Death Knight coming in for a bit of harass. Got a skeleton running around. The town is under siege. Ah, oh, looks like he got the experience for that wisp. Going for another one here. Moon in and out. Oh, another kill. No detonate. Moon. Get off his game there. This is an online match, I believe. And just a heal through that one. Nicely done. But either way, pretty good. Taking down two wisps. Early on for the death knight. I would call that a bit of a victory. Did slow down the ancient war creeping. In fact, he didn't even finish that. Camp. Slowed that down a long way, so yeah, overall a very good harass there from WFC. Now he's uh, getting his ghoul boys together, gonna do some creeping of his own. For that mana to recharge before getting aggressive again. A player's forces are under attack. Moles here. Picking him out pretty quickly. Sending a skeleton off. Oh, no, maybe not. So we're sending him off to a scout on low health. I was about to praise him for it, but then it ran back and died. Level 2 here for Moon. Picks up the potion of greater healing. As well as a cloak of shadows. Like the other way, WFZ. About to complete the knoll here. Looks like he's uh, sent the ghouls back. So not going to go aggressive. A bit of damage onto the keeper. Try to stay aggressive. Moon did pick up the forest troll berserker. And here we go. Expansion. But that's scouted by the skeleton. Nicely done by WFC. He's aware of what Moon's up to. Very easy to sneak an expansion here on Twisted Meadows. It can be hard to contain those elf expansions. You have to be on your game for the scouting. And he is. You know, he's doing that very, very well. Skeleton's keeping tabs on the Keeper as well there. And here we go, Moon running his army back to defend the expansion. Looks like WFC though, not heading in that direction right away. Maybe he's gonna go for uh, his own expansion, Moon. Stuff's back to the main, now coming across to the expansion. Maybe looking to Our creep it. Are under attack. Mission of War still rooted down. Still are pumping out archers actually in fact. Gone for like a reasonably fast expansion as well as tech. No hunters for so no huntresses, just archer power. Takes care of that easy camp, get some skeletons before starting on this one. A little bit trickier. But are we going to see a fast counter expansion here from WFC? That would be a novelty. Moon does have a uh, wisp down here ready to scout however. Moon hitting three. And ring of protection plus four. Not the best, but we'll make him a little bit beefier if he gets focused down. And here we go. Yep, Moon. You know, he hasn't been harassed for quite some time. Puts two and two together. Thinks he must be uh, creeping this position. It looks like he was trying to bait out the coil on the death knight there. 
Didn't bait out the Nova. Nicely done. Just comes in, gets some experience. Creeps out the expansion position, but Moon about to get his expansion down and here we see going for a fast tick. He's got the Players slaughterhouse. Are under attack. About to complete there. Back at Moon Space. We got some ancient of winds. Oh boy, what is he up to with these? Hippo riders, huh? Also picks up his second hero, gonna be the alchemist. Hippo riders, you know, very, very mobile. Might be quite strong on Twisted Meadows, such a large map. Just see one moon. <laughs> I have no idea what he's up to, honestly, with this build. You don't question Moon. You just admire him. Okay, in come the treants. Still so much mire on that forest troll. Been playing with that uh, very conservatively. An expansion about to be complete. Moon starting the wisp production. Here we go. Got a couple hippos over here. No, just going straight hippos still. A player's forces are under attack. Oh no, he has got to have a right attack. I still see it. We're getting a bit more creeping. Gonna be 3 3 after this camp. WC completing his tech, picking up the orb. How come he on the offensive? But this is a pretty ragtag army, not terribly strong. 42 food versus uh, 50 for Moon. So Moon's managed to tech up, a town is expand. And he's got a bigger army. And now he's banging on the door. Got the relics in trouble. Are we see gonna go for a ziggurat? And focus onto the keeper here, Coil. Starting things off. Just the Death Knight back here. The rest of the army going Players on the offensive, going for the expansion. Through a wisp, level two on the lich. Oh, but looks like the keeper's staffed back already, so the Undead Army could be in a bit of trouble here. No town portal. Looks like they're maybe going to come intercept the Death Knight on his way back over, though. Wish we could. I wish the Overlord was working. We could see if he's got. No, he can't have level 2 entangle. Because, uh. Got level 2 treants. I remember seeing that earlier. And there we go. He, co he coils. On the keeper, and did he misclick or something? No, he just ta he tampled her over to here. Okay, that was unexpected. Couple ghouls going down fast. Here we go, big focus onto the keeper, but keeper pops a greater healing potion. Now the fiend's in a bit of trouble. Big focus fire, thanks to the acid bomb. And this fight going pretty well for Moon so far, despite you. <laughs> Like the army types not really lining up that well, just overwhelming. He's got power numbers and the damage boost from the minus armor making the difference in this fight. So we're in a bit of trouble here. Gonna get hunted down by that hippo and this fight overall not going too well for WFZ. He's gonna need to get something going here. You know, he's up against an expansion. If he doesn't win this fight, he's in deep trouble. Okay, there we go. Takes down the ogre. Okay, pick off this hippo as well. Really needs some more statues for a bit of healing, mana regeneration. And it looks like WZ actually pulling back here. Not staying on the offensive. Moon, you know, coming back. Full health, full mana, decent sized army. Maybe cause some damage. Looks like he's gonna go for this red camp instead. Can pick this off pretty easily thanks to the destroyer. And he picks up an orb of darkness. So we're gonna get some free skeletons. That could be handy. Which uh, does have dark ritual rather than frost armor, so can make use of those skeletons. Get a bit of extra mana. Oh boy! With this fiend coming out of the rally point, nicely done there by Moon. Coming on the offensive, going for the Acolytes, and he's put a ziggurat, I mean, uh, the spirit tower on this ziggurat over here, which is maybe not close enough to the rear to defend against these hippos. 
Looks like WC Unfazed gonna go for Moon's expansion, backing his towers. And uh, yeah, it gone for full towers. All the Zergrits getting upgraded there. And it looks like Moon's gonna react to this, come back to try and defend his expansion. Nicely done there, detonating a wisp, taking care of so many skeletons and a good chunk of mana as well. Did reduce the damage by a good chunk. WFC trying to get the kill here, and come the Wisps, full detonate. No more mana on these undead heroes, but the expansion is down, nicely done. Uh, I'm very surprised that Moon didn't stick around and keep harassing the base. I feel like those hippos could still have done quite a lot of damage. Maybe taking out Acolytes, you know, put a bit more damage onto the Haunted Gold Mine, forced a few more appears. A player's forces are under attack. But no. Anyway, Sacrificial Pit going up now, and really helpful to have a shade on this map. Having that uh, extra intel. This was another Tomb of Relics, having to rebuild that. Looks like Moon, gonna pull back, do a bit of creeping. Doesn't need any damage upgrades on these. Oh, it still doesn't hit. Oh. Okay, he doesn't have Hunter Swords, so of course he doesn't have any damage upgrades on them. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. A bit of a creep war here. And look at this, Moon sneaking expansion at WFC's natural position here. It's going to pay off. A little good bit of scouting. Skeleton's going to spot this one, but Moon... Sneaking one over here. I don't know if WFC will be expecting that. A town is under siege. I don't even know if the shade will scout that position. It's so obscure. Looks like WFC running into the main though. Going to try to take down some of these moon wells. And it looks like moon also going to run into the base. Quite a few towers here. Good acid bomb onto the acolytes, and uh, looks like WZ gone town portal back, took down one moon well. Really nice staff by moon. Only unit that could have got web just staffs it out straight away. Really, really well done there. Scouts are getting a bit of damage onto that tree. Moon running in a peculiar path, maybe indicating to WZ that there is an expansion here by taking that exact uh, path of his keeper. I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve there. We mentioned his army by the way, Gem of Health. Loads of health on that keeper now. He's going for the echo kill here. What happened to that shade? Did he cancel it? Maybe he cancelled it out to do repairs earlier, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's over here. Does have one spear acolyte running around now, but maybe he wants to keep that for a while until his base is safe. So he doesn't have to take them off a gold every time he's getting harassed. Attack. Well, 4 4 on the Undead Heroes, nearly all 5 on the Death Knight. We're still sort of trying to level up here. No, Acolyte may be coming out looking for the expansion, gets shut down by Moon though. WFC oh, picks up a Tinker and coming across the other side of the map, gonna go for the expansion. Got Ancient of War over here to act as a, a bit of a blocker. Are under attack. Here we go, Trent's coming in. Ghoul's mobilizing to the defense. And Hippo's going after the Acolytes, gonna take down one of them quickly. Great acid bomb, another one going down fast. The tower starting to uh, damage the hippo riders though. Back the other way, expansion going down fast. The pocket factory is out, doing some big damage. It looks like Moon's going to have to uh, abandon that expansion, but he's doing so much damage to WFZ back the other way. Picking out so many acolytes, going to take down both the ghouls as well, maybe. Maybe a couple of these are slash spirit towers. Oh, uh, Alchemist in a bit of trouble here. Our keeper just out of the picture. 
Chemical Rage wears off. Oh, it's coming back for the staff. Keep it quite low. Can the Lich intercept? Ooh, long range coil. I thought he was out of range. But after seeing that, Keeper pops the staff. And uh, Moon, I didn't even mention this, but trying to put down another expansion here. Gets spotted by WFZ, but look, there's another one going down. So hard to contain on Twisted Meadows. And the Ras just coming in again onto WFC's gold. Looks like WFC, uh... Yeah, yeah. Upgrading the final cigarette now with the tower. I think that's a really good choice. Needs all of them. But surely when he was planting the ziggurats earlier, he wasn't expecting he would need to have them back here to defend against Hippogriff Riders. Such an unusual strategy. More creeping going in here. Alchemist so close to five now. But this shade providing the intel that is required. Shutting down these expansions. Remember the Alchemist has gone for Acid Bomb and... Uh, Chemical Rage, so no heal spray. We're healing these Hippogriff Riders up. Going to be quite costly in terms of mana on Moonwells. Tree of Life going down again. Moon starting another one up over here. 1,700 gold left in Moon's gold mine. A player's forces are under attack. Wonders now. You really not get one until now. I suppose he doesn't have a uh, tier three, so I get the old venom. Let's make it a little bit less appealing. And oh my, is he gonna go for an island expansion? That would be spicy. Yep, I mean he's putting a wisp into the zeppelin. It looks like. <laughs> oh. Did he? A town is under siege. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was Moon buying the Players reveal there, hoping to catch the shade, but didn't didn't do that. So I'm not sure if WZ is aware of this uh, island expansion attempt here. It may not be. Let's keep her uh, keep her stuff back. Just blind. Where's the oh? There's the keeper. <laughs> Like, surely he needs to get that to five. He's got to be here for the experience. Oh, picks up the Foul Stalker. That's a rare unit to see. Pops it straight away, and he's got a town portal back. So w uh, Moon lost to Moon well now. Supply stuck after that. And here we go. Fight underway. Nice. Mana burn by the Foul Stalker. We've got a couple Fairy Dragons up here now. There's some pretty good damage. Death Mine in some big trouble. Looks like he had to use Death Pack there. That means he uh, doesn't have level 3 coil? Wow. Okay, that's a big sacrifice. The unit's going down from Moon, but these Treants starting to do the damage. Destroyer needs to absorb them again. Quite a few hippos going down though, wow. I need army getting a bit thin on the ground, but so is the Night Elf. There goes the Destroyer. Oh, morphs another one. Death Knight with one more coil. Spins it on the Crypt Fiend, though. The Destroyer has to get out of there. Hippos come back in to focus down the Destroyer. And that goes down. And vault on the Death Knight. Oh, he's thinking about the kill on the Alchemist. Death Knight super low still. Another Acid Bomb uh, could be trouble. Okay, overcomes the Obsidian Statue. Expansion is going down on the island. Nearly complete for Moon though. You see, I think he thinks he's in a good position here, but little does he know that island expansion. Already uh, up and running. Of course, he knows that Moon tripped it out. Saw the Phelps talk, but no other way to get that, but probably unaware that it's actually uh, not really complete. Oof, Gargoyle going down there. 
think is also dead. And WC running out of pushing power here. Going for a bit of hero focus, hoping to take down the Tinker, but Tinker using the heal potion. And now he's going hunting, looking for the Crypt Fiends, looking for the Destroyer. Destroyer's gonna go down. And WFZ just has nothing left now. Maybe stuck around in that fight a little bit too long and the hero focus didn't quite work out for him. And Moon ends up taking the fight. Now you know, he's running over to the expansion position with his Tree of Ages. He's got this Iron Expansion up and running. Only two Wisps in it at the moment though. A little bit strapped for gold. Could do a Zeppelin run though. Pick some more up if he doesn't want to build them. Has oh, yeah, has plenty of lumber so he doesn't really need these Wisps here to be on lumber. Yeah, looks like he's sending a few over the there now. Forces are under attack. And WFC gonna do a bit of creeping here, try to get level 5 on the Lich. Not getting the level 3 coil though. Super costly. Not quite as much healing, not quite as much nuke. Trying to go for an expansion of his own Horta gold mine, about halfway done. Doing a bit of creeping here, getting some items, getting some uh, gold. Town is under siege. And here we go. Staff's in. Treant's out. Expansion cancelled. That is tough for WFC. Right as this gold mine expires. He's got a bit in the bank. About 750 gold. But Moon about to be producing from two gold mines now to WFC zero. That is bad news for him. And just moving, you know, staffing around, staffing, treants out. It's all you need to cancel an in progress expansion, and these wisps just lingering around the map, enabling those kind of movements. A player's forces are under attack. Take a look at army sizes, though. WC with about a ten food lead right now. So let's see if he can capitalize. He has rebuilt quite nicely. Big army of fiends here. Which, uh, should counter the mass air army by Moon quite nicely. It looks like Moon just <laughs> he got to go for another island expansion. Oh my! Is he going to knock down the Tree of Ages though? So it does potentially lock Moon out of some tech options. WZ also takes care of the uh, rest of the main. Now we're going to have to granite golem here. What items he going to get from this one? Potion of divinity, maybe. Talisman of the wild. Three food gold tokens. Okay. WZ coming over. Take down a few more buildings. Got a juice left in these moon wells. If we can knock these down, that'll be nice. We might have to think about starting to build in his island positions. Oh. Web finds the fairy dragon here. I think he's hoping to catch the zeppelin. Catch the heroes. It doesn't get that, but nice... Uh, Tricky play there by WFZ. Takes off a fairy dragon for the trouble as well. We'll take down the altar here, and it looks like yeah, Moon is going to uh, build on this iron position. It's <laughs> the last remaining juice out of these moon wells. And now trying to produce a couple more units before they're destroyed, before we get supply stuck. WZ going for an expansion in this position over here. It's the only one the moon doesn't have scouted at the moment. A player's forces are under attack. The moon sending out trends in all directions, but this might actually work for WFZ. Some of the moon's expansion early over here. So bold it just might work. And it's up and running. You see, with uh, 300 gold at the moment. 
Goes for a necropolis here so it can town portal. Fair choice. And Moon just camping out on the island. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> But, WC, going to take care of the rest of the base. If you can knock out all these Ancient of Winds, you know, that's a big deal. We can't produce a very good army anymore. Doesn't have uh, any production buildings at the moment, in fact. So, WC up and mining and getting a couple of ziggurats here to defend this. Should help if, you know, Moon tries to send his air units alone. A player's forces are under attack. Now it's going to take a while before WFC can uh, make an army that can really contend against this amount of air. Picks off one fiend, but I'm going to be uh, trading that for a hippogriff. Oh! What? Hippogriff gets away, he coiled a tree, was that a misclick? And now he's, he's trying to come across. This is risky stuff from WFC. Making his way across to the island. Unloads quickly. Here we go, the fight is underway. The Zeppelin getting out of there fast. Field bolt deployed. Destroy going down fast, getting focused down hard by the mass here. This is fight not going too well for WFZ here though. Death Knight getting focused. Using the death pack, getting focused down hard. Has to town portal out. And uh, end up losing his destroyer there. Took down a decent chunk of Moon's army. Not a, not a huge amount. That did not work out too well for WFZ, I have to say. Definitely lost a lot more than Moon in that fight. And he was the one making the aggressive action. And Moon, you know, he's, he's taken up over here. He's uh, rebuilding. And now he's coming on the offensive. Maybe trying to find WFZ's expansion position. WZ is kind of tempted to go for his own island expo, but that may leave his current expansion uh, exposed. Does he have a... Town no, he's a got a town portal. He's town portaling back. But, you know, that's 350 gold down for WFZ. My moon. <laughs> can, uh, finally break free of the island. Get aggressive with this mass air. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Tinker. Entangled. Getting focused down hard here. Man, that acid bomb just hits like a truck. Level 3 acid bomb. Overcoil onto the alchemist. Pops the fear bulk, tries to do a little bit of blocking. Alchemist pretty hasty though. And remember that's uh it's level two unholy aura at the moment. I mean he's probably not gonna get level three, is he? Unless he gets to level seven death knight. Seems implausible. Okay, here we go. Uh, a couple more towers going down here for WFC. Another expansion for Moon. The player's forces are Two more attack. expansions for Moon. Oh boy. We're seeing about to be outproduced. Four gold mines to one. A and is the Moon going to come here and start chipping away at the main? It looks like it. I'll take down a couple of these towers. Oh, and the sappers! Oh, that one got killed. But that one got onto the target. Two Spirit Towers going to go down thanks to that move from Moon. Oh man, that was a super nice move from Moon. Good reactions by WFC. You know, switching targets. Taking down one of the sappers before it blew up, but... He got the job done. A town is under siege. And now he's just spreading like the plague again. All across the map. Getting a couple more ancient winds down to continue on with his mass air. Also picking up a hunter's horse, starting to get a couple upgrades now. Looks like maybe he's gonna commit to a mass fury dragons. Okay, 
Oops, he's like, haha, I found your expansion. It's like, hey mate, I got plenty more where that came from. Oh, WFZ gonna come across to the uh to this expansion position. No moon, not with no scouting on this. Will he town portal back? Doesn't have one uh, here. He's got one on the alchemist. Take a look at our food counts at the moment. 49 for moon. Place 43 for WFZ. We've probably got a few more tied up in workers at the moment though, so maybe uh, a fair fight in terms of army size right now. Here we go, WFC going after this expansion. It's got the wins. But maybe Moon can chuck down a couple more wins over here before it goes down. WFC uh, about to lose. Even with all these towers, just the treants overwhelming the acolytes here. Nice zeppelin control though, minimizing the damage. And here we go, expansion down. Didn't take out the winds though. TT teleport us to this position. That is very strange. Meanwhile, his base getting smacked down by the alchemist. This is the, the keeper of the grove just too mobile to get caught by a town portal back like that. Oh, Tinker maybe finding another expansion, but look how much gold Moon has at the moment. And WFZ just slowly but surely losing his base buildings, unable to contain. Moon's mass expansion play. Apparently he did chuck down a couple more wins before he lost that tech. Going for another expansion here. There's one wisp remaining here. Okay, Fiend uh, managing to snare a fairy dragon, but we are produce plenty more of those and there we go just town portals out doesn't need to stick around oh my god that fairy dragon got out on no health as well oh, death knight too experienced away from level six that'll make a big damage difference in the uh, new potential level three coil town is under siege will that be enough Oh, looks like Moon coming across to WC's expansion. Are under Did he? Hmm, I'm not sure. Did he house, like, what did he transmute just then? Was that a... Oh, what? Alchemist did staff back here? And just died straight away? What? Just coming in. Call on one. The wisp. It's the detonate off. The moon about to lose this expansion. But look, he's got 2,500 gold. He does not care. The other expansion down. A this town one. Is under siege. So, you know, he's trying to use the Tinker, trying to counter these expansions, but... Moon just... he's everywhere. And I think it... I mean, it all came down to really that fight where WFZ came across to the island and lost that fight. He played that a little bit differently. Maybe focused on making his own expansions. In the non-island areas, just holding his ground. Maybe this would be a different match. But here we go. Moon coming across WC's expansion. Trying to take down this tower with mass fairy dragons. They got one damage upgrade now. Meanwhile, WC trying to take down this expansion. Going for another one back here, but I'm sure Moon will be able to cancel that. Okay, there we go. Tranquility and vulnerability potion on the keeper. Keeper with just an insane amount of life. Two, like three life boosting items. Nuke from the Death Knight, not enough. 
Yeah, look, we <laughs> barely scratched him. It's a level 3 coil, and there we go. Death Knight getting focused down. Doesn't Town Portal out. It has to be GG. Is he going to play on though? Still has hope. Oh, his supply stuck. No resources left. No hope. I'm bringing back that Death Knight and transmute. The army is here now, but Moon just running away. And just, you know, build up, build up. Doesn't need to take a fight quite yet. Whoa! Oh man, I thought Moon pulled back, but it looks like he killed the Tinker. Now going after the Lich Lich with the Invol Potion here, though. But this army is just overwhelming, even for the Lich. Better focus onto the Keeper, but he's just so beefy. And there we go, WFZ. Throws in the town. So there we go, an illustration of why it's called Moon Meadows. <laughs> Mass expansions, some uh, highly mobile Hippogriff Rider play from Moon, very creative, and uh, WFZ just didn't have the answers, not mobile enough. Oh, crazy game. GG. Well, thanks for tuning in to another installment of Warcraft Wednesday, and until next time, goodbye, and good luck.